Hello and welcome to episode 173 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making some beef stir fry. But uh, before I get into that, say hello Rainstorm. Hello. Hi everyone, Rainstorm here. Okay, so I thought it would be a nice idea to make some beef stir fry. One, because we've been doing cooking in the recent episodes. Two, because in the last episode, it, I, as I was putting the components into the cauldron and was doing the law, it said for one of the episodes I could add oil. So I thought some of you might have been curious as to exactly what that recipe was talking about. So that's one reason why I thought it'd be a nice idea to show it. Two, it's nice uh, to have uh, a secondary food in for the chance of you getting your mini affinity for grinding up another one of your skills. So another skill food, if I can call it that. And also just because uh, it's nice to fill up our recipe lists, is it not, with unknown recipes? Because I can tell you now, in my cooking recipe list, there is absolutely no, nothing listed under stir. So this would be a new recipe that I can find. So how do we make it then? If it's not in my recipe list, how do we make it? So if we go to the oven, and that's where I'm going to begin. So let's open it up. Let's open up my pocket and open the cauldron up because it was the cauldron that I was using before so I'm going to stick to that again. And the components that we're going to need are diced meat so I'm going to activate my knife. Let's dice up this meat. You mean chopped? Oh, I thought it was diced. Okay. I've diced it, so let's try that. So let's put well, the. Well, it only does it only does one way, so don't worry about it. If it came out diced, then it's diced. Yeah, it's diced. When you use the uh, uh, the little knife, it's diced. When you use the um, other knife, then it's chopped. Um, anyway, so let's do the onion next. So chopped onion. Yeah, it's chopped for the vegetables, diced for the meat. I think that's the way it works. Yeah, and I was thinking the fish. Because if you do the stir-fry uh, with the fish, it would be chopped, okay. not diced. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. Thank you for mentioning it. It's always good to get a bit of extra information thrown in. Right, OK, let's chop up some garlic. And now let's do some law. So here you can see, exactly the same as the last episode, put in them f components, it's now saying oil. So let's do that. 33% of solids. So how much oil, Rainstorm, is that actually telling me that we need? I have no idea. So, Try well, putting in a small amount. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in a tiny, the, t the smallest amount and it let it tell us and that's what you will do at home if you do the same so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my measuring jug to one gram the smallest measure and then going to drop that in okay so it's not even recognizing it uh, let's now put that in and now let's do the law and it should hopefully tell us exactly how much Okay, so it needs between 158. Oh, I haven't got enough oil, Rainstorm. Needs between. Uh, I haven't got enough oil. It needs between 158 and 237 grams. And what do we? We have. Uh, oh wait a minute! No, we do. We have six grams, so that should be fine. Let's just. I, was gonna say, I thought there was plenty in there. Yeah, no, it's me. It's all right, I'm being silly. <laughs> So, 158, so if I do 100 grams first, and then if I set it to 50, no, if I put 200 grams in, yeah. Oh, what is going on? Come on. Take it out of the... The container. Oh, the yeah. The That's what I'm not doing. And then change. Yeah. 
course it was only set to that amount right there we go let's put that in and now let's wait for oh that was quick oh and what does that say recipe meat stir fry added to your cookbook so this is the meat stir fry we're going to take a look at it but there's something rainstorm wants to mention with regards to the stir fry okay um <clears throat> I actually have the stir fry recipe in my book, and a standard stir fry says for a cooker you can either use the campfire or an oven. For the container you can either use a fry pan or a cauldron, and um, any oil is mandatory. And you have your choice of corn, cottonseed, fennel, hazelnut, nutmeg, olive oil, pine nut, and walnut. And then you have to use at least one meat, um, diced meat of any kind, or chopped fish fillet. And then one or more vegetables, chopped. And then optional would be um, any mushrooms, chopped herbs, which would be our garlic there. Um, salt, and what is really disgusting to me, and I don't know why they have that in here, but tomato, ketchup, or mayo. Oh. Um, yeah, no, I would <laughs> leave those two out, but um, that's what it says. Well, that's maybe it's a Swedish thing. standard stir-fry, stir and in this case, we used uh, the cauldron, and we used cottonseed oil. When you're doing your affinities, if you want the same um, effect, affinity, every time you have to use the same exact ingredients. If you change your container, if you change your oil type, if you change your vegetable type, if you change your meat type, it's going to change your affinity. Thank you, Rainstorm. Is there anything else you wanted to add? No. Nope. Right, well, on that subject of affinity, the mini... Remember you get with these meals that we're... With these foods that we're showing you, they give mini affinities. And there's a little experiment I want to do. You see, last week, Rainstorm made some meat stir-fry and the I tasted it, as you do, and it gave me an affinity for weaponsmithing. So I was curious. If Rainstorm made, makes meat stir-fry and it gives me weaponsmithing affinity, what about if I make beef stir-fry? Will it give me the same affinity as Rainstorm's or will it be a different affinity? So on that then, let's give this one a taste and we will see. And then I will taste rainstorms. So let's taste it. Oh no, so it is the same then. So whoever makes the food, it doesn't matter, it will be the same mini affinity. And what a nice affinity that is, because that's one of the slowest skills to raise in a uh, worm. So that's a very nice affinity for the beef stir fry. And that's another reason why I wanted to make the beef stir fry. But let's give Rainstorms a, a taste just to show you what I'm talking about. So if we open up the larder in there, we should see some beef stir fry. This is what Rainstorm made. And if I taste that, you can see exactly the same. So I, what I want to make clear though is your affinity is different from mine. So for both yours, the one that you created and the one I created last week, I have an affinity for medium malls. So somebody else going to have the same recipe will get a different affinity. And that's but it's the yeah. same every time they make that same recipe, that same exact way. Yeah, it'd be the same affinity. Thank you for clearing that so, up. So for you, when you want to grind on your um, your what was yours affinity? Blade smithing. So for you, you would create this over and over again for your blade smithing. When, right. when you find an affinity that you want to use, that make sure you use that same recipe over and over and over again. That's why it's a nice um, idea to do lots of recipes that are not in our recipe books as. Uh, as we find them for different episodes because then it gives you you all a different and a new opportunity to get an affinity a mini affinity for another skill
So you've got the one for the goulash that we did last week, whatever that may be, whatever affinity that gave you. Now you've got the beef stir fry as well. That will give you access to a second mini affinity for a second skill. So what Rainstorm and I are hoping is we will discover lots of new recipes and be able to share them with you. And then that way you will have lots of mini affinities. That sound good? Sounds good to me. Yeah, so hopefully they will all be good episodes but of course we've got to discover them recipes have you discovered discovered any other recipes yet rainstorm oh probably because i have stuff in my book that you don't have oh, i yeah. haven't found any special um recipes like out in the world yet um, i know aragorn has he found one in a chest oh did he yep and i think uh Wista did as well but i haven't found any yet Oh yeah, I was going to check my cooking recipes actually, now that, because uh, at the beginning of the episode I looked for stir and nothing was there, and now I have in my recipe book, meat stir fry. Uh, so you can all see, that's how you add new recipes. I know I did show last week, but just to reiterate, there's another new recipe in my uh, recipe book. Does uh, it have any other of the stir fries or just the... Um no, it just has the meat stir fry. Why do you have others? I have one for vegetables, one for regular stir fry, one for mushroom stir fry, and one for fish stir fry. Oh no, I only have the one okay. recipe. So I'll have to discover them other okay. recipes. The others are red to me, but um, but there are th things that I've created in those recipes that's allowing me to see the recipe. Well, just, that's, yeah. that's more episodes, think. so that's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be more episodes discovering them other recipes. Okay, well, we've shown what I wanted to. Anything else you'd like to add to uh, information-wise, to brainstorm? No, I think I've <laughs> given enough already. Yeah, I think you have. Okay, well, it's not. It wasn't meant to be a really long episode. Some episodes will be short, but sweet, as they say. Okay, if you'd like to say your goodbyes, I will say the outro, and thank you for helping. You're welcome. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Rainstorm, for helping with this episode, for all the ingredients and your time and trouble. To the rest of you, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye. <laughs>